Welcome to this week's tutorial. It's all about focus stacking. I'm going to show you how I post process my focus stacked pictures. Okay, so let's jump straight in. Let's go ahead and open the three images that I want to focus stack. Now, first of all, you'll notice that these three images have opened up in ACR, which is called Adobe Camera Raw. I don't use Lightroom, but if you use Lightroom, everything I do here, you can do in Lightroom in exactly the same way. So don't switch off, don't switch off. Okay, let's have a quick look at this. The most important thing is now is to select all three of these images and just go through your normal workflow. Adjust your, your, your white balance, adjust your exposure, your contrast, I've just made a few small adjustments here. These are typical to what I would ordinarily do on my landscape shots. Once I've done that, um, let's just go ahead and open all three images up in Photoshop. Make sure all three are selected. Do that by selecting the first one, pressing control on the keypad, click, click to add to my selection, and then hit open images. If you're a Lightroom user, there is an option where you can select all three images and then uh, you could open all images as layers in Photoshop. So you can do that if you're a Lightroom user. Okay, so let's take a look at these three images I have in Photoshop. Now I know the first image there. I know that I focused there. So that's the image that has the detail closest to the camera in focus. This one here, I focused there. So that's the midpoint. And this third image here, I focused on to the lighthouse there, which renders that focused on infinity. So what I now need to do, let's use my close up area, this area here, which is in focus as my base layer. Let's grab the mid layer here, V on the keyboard or hit that icon there. And now what I'm going to do is the move tool. I can drag that up onto that image there, drag it across, and it'll drop it down as a separate layer onto the first image. And let's repeat the same process. This one here, I know has been focused to infinity, drag that up, drag that across there, release the mouse button, roughly put that in place, and that is done. And just to make life easy for ourselves, let's remove these two images here. So now what we're left with is all three images as the one picture, in layers. Hope that makes sense. Okay, what we now need to do is let's select all once again. Hit the top one, press control on the keypad, click with the mouse, click with the mouse to select all three, and we're going to go up to edit and we're going to auto align images. Hit the auto align, not the auto merge. I'm going to explain uh, the reasons why we do that in a second. So, Photoshop, we'll look at the three images and simply align the layers and there you go that uh, I imagine has done a very good job a few bits and pieces on the edge there but we can deal with that at the end right now this is where most tutorials get it wrong if I click on the edit button now with all three selected and most people will go up to auto blend layers and click on OK now when you select the blend mode, Photoshop is guesstimating what it considers to be sharp in the image from each layer, and it will then blend them together like so. Now, when you look at that image, it looks perfectly fine. Everything looks good, and sometimes this does actually work. However, if I look at the image a little bit closer, so I know all that's perfectly fine. That looks to be okay. It's very difficult to tell here anyway, because it's quite rugged, but usually on water you can tell. Now I'm going to zoom in here. Now remember my screen is being recorded um, as low res, so you might not be able to see what I can see. But if I just highlight a few artifacts, um, around about this area here, it hasn't done a very good job there. Uh, there's some marks on there as well, and some marks definitely there and definitely that area there. Um, it hasn't done a particularly good job there either. It seems to be on water it really struggles with. But look at this side here. Can you look at that there? Again, you might not be able to see it like I can see it, but what I'm looking at, it looks as if I've taken this picture and it's rained onto the lens up there. It's done a shocking job and up there as well. So on 
closer inspection you can see that that really really doesn't work right so this is how i would do it let's step back to the point where i've just introduced all three images into photoshop so what i'm going to do now is select all three images let's go through the same procedure edit and auto align images and Photoshop will quite literally take about 10 or 15 seconds to auto align those images and it generally does a very very good job if it can't auto align them it'll generally pop up um, saying there's a, a problem with them okay so now that they're all aligned perfectly what I'm now going to do is I'm going to introduce the detail that's in focus but I'm going to do it manually it's a very 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 easy process and how we do it is simply this switch these two layers off so the bottom layer that I'm looking at remember it's only this area here let's make that brush bigger it's only this area here that's in focus so I can leave that alone that's perfectly fine remember the second layer has this area here in focus okay so what I'm now going to do to introduce that information and only that amount of information is simply create a layer mask but I'm going to invert the layer mask so I'm going to press Control and I or command and I on the Mac and that'll simply convert the layer mask from white to black if it's black it means it's completely transparent so even though we've selected this layer and this layer is now live by virtue of the fact that we have a layer mask on there that's black it means it's completely transparent so we can't see any detail or any information on that layer at all but we're now going to introduce it ourselves simply by doing this pressing b for the brush tool let's choose a nice big brush hit the bracket keys right and left makes the brush bigger and smaller on the fly hold down the shift button and hit the left square brackets to soften the brush that's a good shortcut if you didn't already know that okay now what i'm now going to do is i now know that roughly this area here that area there is the area that's in focus on this layer and all I'm going to do be for my brush tool I can even zoom in quite close and as I paint using a white paintbrush it will introduce the information from that layer and as I paint it like so I can actually see the image or that part of the image going from blurred to focus non-destructive work because we're using layer masks and your layer mask should look like that you can if you wish go all the way up it doesn't make any difference just don't go over the bit at the front because the bit at the front is being covered by the bottom layer and we're just going to repeat the same process select the third layer select the top layer remember this has all the information in infinity so all we're going to do is switch it on add a layer mask invert the layer mask in exactly the same way command or control and i black fully transparent b for the brush tool make sure white is selected and all we're going to do is simply paint in all that information in the distance so i'm repeating the same process i'm just simply painting the detail in and i can literally see it with my own eyes go from blurred to focus and um, once again because i'm using a layer mask and my black and my white brushes I can play around until I get it absolutely perfect so once that's done all I now need to do to finish this image is go to layer let's merge visible like so then I can zoom in just so that I can get my three layers lined up properly so that's it it's such a simple technique but it's guaranteed to work 100% every time every time and it takes about a minute to do each picture honestly um, by the time you practice two or three pictures it'll become second nature to you very very quickly and that's it hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have give it a thumbs up and uh, i'll catch you on the next one cheers